For the first course and the last course, the food came from the back out to you guys. We're going to cook this one all in front of you for all 80 people. It's true. I figure if you're coming up, I might as well, you know. Oh, man. You know, the, you, you know the range is better than I do. And, and the, reason is, the reason we're doing it this way isn't because we don't trust the people in the back. They're, they do an amazing job here. It's that pasta is one of those things that I truly feel it has to be cooked, hit the table, and be eaten. So the first thing is with pasta is boiling water. You know, you need to have water that is at a rolling boil. This is also why it is important um, to have the BTUs. You know, I, I'm sure that a lot of you guys have went at home that you guys have 25,000 BTUs is, is a game changer for a home cook because for someone who literally eats pasta uh, probably four to five days a week, um, when you put it on a stove that doesn't have those kind of BTUs and you see that little blurp you're never going to have good pasta. The, 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 the water needs to be going. It needs to be alive. And not only does it have to be going when you put the, when, before you put the pasta in, but once you drop it, it has to come back up to that boil quick or else it just sits in water. And it's a very unhappy day for your pasta. First thing that we're going to do, and I know I, I want you, I want to, as we're putting the butter in, don't freak out. This is enough butter for 80 people. Like, I don't go, oh my God, he's killing us. So there's a lot of butter here, but this is for 80 people. So you're probably getting a teaspoon each. I'm not trying to Paula Dean, y'all. You're just, you're just getting enough for, for each. So Katie, you got your butter? All right. So we're going we're gonna to load in with our butter. And if you look at the pan, if you look at the pan, you see how it's browning quickly in there? You guys see that happening? That's what we're looking for. So we want brown butter. And what happens when the butter browns is it gets very nutty very, very quick. All right? So that's what we want it to do. Right before it kind of burns, you turn it off the heat. We'll put it all together at once. So then, then we take the sage leaves and we put them in. And the sage leaves are going to kind of um, crisp up and what they're going to do is they're going to at this point flavor the butter all right so they, they not only add a little bit of texture to the dish but they add a lot of flavor our water's boiling the next thing that we need to do is we need to salt the water when you salt the water for pasta or cooking vegetables the water has to taste like the sea or the ocean you don't season water like this. You season water like this. It should taste like the sea. Because my grandmother, she could find a good cook. This is when, when she watched someone make pasta. And 90% of pastas are flavored by the water. The water becomes part of the sauce. All right, so when my grandmother would watch them cook, and if they were seasoning their pasta, she knew that they didn't, they're, they're crappy cooks. It means that they didn't season their water because the water should season the pasta. Because the pasta itself has no salt in it, okay? So you need to season your water. So you put in the salt, you give it a taste, it should taste like the sea. To, to buy, to cook from scratch, to learn how to cook from scratch, is you're going to lower the amount of sodium you take in dramatically, dramatically, instantaneously. And then you cut out the processed stuff and it's all good. You could have food that tastes delicious. So you want to always pull the pasta out of the liquid, add it to your sauce, incorporate it into your sauce to finish the dish. Here I have some of the reserved pasta water because this starchy water is going to help create our sauce. And then when we add the Parmesan cheese, we will add it once we're off the heat because if a cheese like that boils, it gets stringy. We're gonna put this in. I'm gonna put a little bit more in. And then you could, if you could reload us with pasta, we'll yeah. just keep going. And I'll show you how we're gonna finish this whole rigmarole. So now here's how we finish. Bring it over here. Perfect. Set it right on that burner. So we're gonna give it a quick toss. Oh 
throw that one back in. And then we're going to hit it with a squeeze of lemon juice. A little more. Perfect. Now, a couple glugs of extra virgin olive oil. Glugs. Perfect. Now I'm going to give it one more toss. And now we're going to take, we're going to move it off the heat. And I want you to put in a handful of, of uh, Parmesan, Indisputed King of Cheeses. Another handful. Another handful. Perfect. All right. One other great thing about Blue Stars, it cleans up really good. So we just give it another toss. Like that. You made that look easy. Well, it's, you know, it's, I can't add or dance, but I could cook. So now we just take this brown butter pasta, and we got one platter done, and we're going to hit it with a little bit more cheese on top. And this is just the simplest of classic pastas. Very similar to what like a true fettuccine alfredo used to be before they put cream in it. We added sage, but this would be like a classic alfredo. Butter, parmesan, pasta water, done.